there may be some people out there who comment to me or tell me that they are having trouble with sinning. Like, there are sins that they want to stop. And I continue to say this over and over and over again, and I am not going to say that it is easy, because it is really not, but if you follow this concept, things will get a lot more easy for you. For instance, if you are continuing to sin when you don't want to, how is your environment? What are you listening to? What are you looking at? <clears throat> Who are you hanging around? For instance, what friends do you have? Do your friends serve God? Most likely not. Or are they Christians or, <laughs> how can I say it? Lukewarm Christians, sinful Christians. If you hang around with sinful people, of course, you are going to do the same things as them. Slowly but surely. Maybe much more quickly. Myself. <clears throat> I used to hang around with sinful people. I don't anymore. So the peer pressure to do wrong. How can I say this? So the peer pressure from other people is not there because I'm not really hanging around sinful people. Maybe with family members, yes, but it is not an ongoing process where I am around sinful people. So I don't have that peer pressure to do the wrong things that they are doing. Makes sense, right? Because how can you hang around with people that are in sin and expect to stay a Christian or an obedient servant of God? Think about that. Think about being around a person who cursed or who curses every day and you are around them every day and you may say well Kevin don't God want us to minister to people that are lost yes but are you constantly ministering to them the whole time you are with them I think not you are just using that as an excuse to do what you want to do that is why you are having trouble obeying God makes sense right Who are you speaking to? If you are a man, are you speaking to women who are halfway dressed, meaning they are wearing outfits that expose their chest and their behind and their legs and thighs and stuff like that? <laughs> no wonder why you are sinning. If you are a woman, are you hanging out with men that tries to put you in lust or doesn't dress in a way where a man should dress around a woman. No wonder why you are sinning. What are you speaking about with each other? No wonder why you can't stop sinning. The people you are speaking to, the people you are hanging around, I'm telling you, this all goes in with each other. Okay, what are you watching? Are you watching horror movies? Are you watching movies that shows sexual things like people, like, not just a simple kiss, you know, not like, you know, you know, like tonguing and touching and feeling and stuff like that. Are you watching that type of stuff? 
What are you watching? Are you watching movies that have tons and tons of cursing in it? Myself, don't get me wrong. I may listen to something that may curse here or there. But if it gets to the point where, like, it just curse like blah, 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 blah. If it gets like so much, I change it because I don't want that stuff to get in my spirit. That should make sense, right? Because if I continue to listen to it, it is going to get in me and sooner or later, I am going to start saying the same things. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, what are you looking at? It is not a bad thing to watch TV shows and movies and stuff like that, but if it gets to the point where it shows so many sexual scenes and so many curse words and so many goreish or gore, you need to turn it off. Because this is the reason why you are having trouble sinning. That should make sense, right? Are you watching porn? Are you watching anything that is like soft porn? If you are, <laughs> no wonder. All of these things play in effect on your spirit. I really hope that makes sense. So we spoke about your friends, the people you hang around with, what you watch, what did you listen to? What type of music did you listen to? Now, I don't think love songs are a bad thing. But when it gets to like, when it gets graphic, like telling you what they are going to do and touch and stuff like that, you should not listen to it. And let me say this, if you are single, why would you want to listen to love songs anyway? Because it is going to put you in that mood to want to do something. To make the wrong choices. So, myself, I am single and I will not listen to any love songs. I'm telling you, I will not. Back when I was in sin, yes, I did. Because I did not really care what I did back then. But now that I serve God, I am not going to put myself in a place where I am going to be tempted. Well, in that way. Does that make any sense? What are you listening to? Are you listening to this crazy rap and hip hop? <laughs> One day I was driving somewhere and I had my window down, I believe or it was up and this person I believe my window was down and this person was playing this rap music and I was listening to it and I'm like <laughs> is this actually music and don't get me wrong back in the past I listened to rap music hip-hop gangster rap stuff like that all the time back then but it have been years since I have really listened to that music. And I was thinking, I'm like, who in the world can listen to mess like that? Like, is it really music speaking about sexual things? Is it really music telling someone that you are going to sell drugs and kill a person? Is that really music? Or is it trying to push people to do those things? That's not music. It is teaching people that are weak-minded. Yes, I was weak-minded back then. Teaching people who are weak-minded how to live their lives and get in much trouble. Because Whoever can be entertained by rap music, something is wrong, including myself. I was entertained back in the past, and many things was wrong with me, of course. 
<laughs> many things. And not only rap and hip hop, there are there is rap and heavy metal and all of this other stuff that you should not listen to. If it has so much cursing in it, sexual content, talking about killing people and all of this crazy stuff, you should not look at it. Does that make any sense? Give me a second, please. So, video games. Now, I have a PlayStation 4 and I play games myself, but I am careful of what I play. If you are playing games that have, that uses magical power, like witchcraft type of stuff, you should not play in that. If you are fighting demons, like really graphic, gorish type of stuff, you should not be playing it. I know that the best games are the demonic games. I understand that because I used to play them myself, but that is going to play in effect on your spirit. I'm telling you, it is going to affect your spirit. It affected minds or affected minds so it is going to affect your spirit effect or effect <laughs> I don't know which <laughs> so stay away from that stuff so if it is showing demons uh, angels and stuff like that yes demonic type of angels and stuff like that Now, of course, there is a, if it really gets extreme, stay away from it. Does that make any sense? Stay away from it because it is going to hurt you. You may not see it, but when it comes down to, because look, these things go against God. How can you serve God? So the principles of God is right here. And the demonic stuff that you are taking in is over here. So their principles is over here. So how can you try to take things of God within yourself, but at the same time you are taking in things of Satan within yourself? It is not going to go well because the principles of God and the principles of Satan can't be mixed. So you are going to be pulled this way or the other. So if you are trying to place things of God within yourself and things of Satan within yourself, it is not going to work. This is why you are keep on. This is why you are continuing to slip and falling back into sin constantly. You have to change your environment. You may say, well, life is not going to be as much fun. Let's say that's true. Let's say that you live a boring life all your life on earth. Well, you get to go to heaven afterwards for in eternity, no end. So let's say that it is really boring. Isn't it worth it? <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Isn't it worth it to live a boring life on earth than go to heaven? Think about that. At the most, you are going to live on earth for 80 years. So 80 years of boredom which is not true, but 80 years of boredom, isn't that worth it? See, the only reason why you believe that living for God is boring because you have not really tried it, because your understanding is not right. Because you can basically do things minus demonic stuff. 
Because if you think about it, or if you served God more, you will see that that demonic stuff is not really fun because it is hurting you in the end. Drinking poison, a person can make poison taste good. But if a person says, hey, you should not drink that because there is poison in it. But you are saying, but it tastes so good. And then you get really sick and almost dying and you still are drinking it. But it tastes so good. See, it may seem like it is good, but it is killing you. So what if you really found out or get it inside your head what you are doing is poison. Yes, it may feel good, but it is killing you. Would you still do it if you knew that it was poison? Maybe some crazy people out there may say yes, but the majority of people will say no. So you just don't have that information of knowing the effects of your actions. Does that make any sense? So, if you want to change your life, you have to change your environment. You can't, you can't keep your environment the same way and believe that you can change. Myself, I believe I told people, and I made a video speaking about how bad I was. For me to change, I had to change my whole environment. I had to change what I did, who I hang out with, so on and so on. I had to change everything. But you believe that you can keep things the same or change maybe this and that and everything else is going to change, which it is not real, Ah, my Lord. You can't think that way. If you truly want to live for God, you have to change everything. Get new friends. But Kevin, you know, I have been friends with this person for 20 years, 10 years, 15 years. Okay. What if you go to hell? I mean, what if your friend go to hell and you go to heaven? Will you tell God, hey, my friend is in hell and I have been his friend for 20 years. So that means, hey, I can't separate from my friend, so you have to send me to hell too. Will you tell God that? Of course not. The separation have to occur somewhere. But if you don't separate from those bad people now, they may influence you to do bad things and go to hell with them. Does that make any sense? I really hope this makes sense, or I pray that it makes sense. You have to change everything. <clears throat> if a person comes and tells me, hey Kevin, I continue to sin, I'm continuing to do this wrong thing, the first thing that comes to my mind, you are not making the changes. You are still talking to the same people, perhaps, you are still watching those crazy movies and TV shows, perhaps. You are still listening to that uh, crazy music, perhaps. You are still doing the same thing somewhere. I'm telling you. Man, let me say this. What I do most of the time, I am listening to something about God. I am either listening to um, Christian music, teachings about God. I am either printing out information about God. I am doing something that pertains to God. Yes, I play games and stuff like that, but I am doing things that pertains to God. Yes, I watch anime, you know, good anime, not that demonic stuff, but I am doing something, listening to something that pertains to God. Not once a week, not twice a week, sometimes every day of the week sometimes, or most of the time. Does that make any sense? Because I know 
If I don't do anything that pertains to God every day, sooner or later, I am going to go back to sin. <laughs> I'm telling you. We have to be refreshed. It doesn't matter if you known God or went to church for 20 years or so. You need to be refreshed really every day. You need to constantly hear things about God. You need to constantly pray and read the Bible and stuff like that. Constantly, constantly refreshing yourself over and over and over again. But Kevin, you know, I already know some of that information. It does not matter. You need to constantly refresh yourself because the devil is not stopping. He is not stopping. And he been... He has been playing the same tricks over and over and over again. Even if the tricks that he is doing is not working on you, he is not going to stop. Because what does he have to lose? So if you are being attacked every day, over and over and over again, then you say to yourself, well, I don't really need to do things of God because I already have went to church for 20 years I already have been doing things of God for 20 years or so, so I am good. No, a constant refreshing has to occur. And I am not saying that I pray every day and read the Bible every day and stuff like that. I am not saying that. But I am doing something that pertains to God just about every day. Makes sense, right? What if I stop? And I fill myself with worldly things. I'm telling you, this guy here is going back to sin if I do that. Because I am not refreshing myself. For instance, let's say that you have a chair outside. Maybe that is a bad example. <laughs> You have to refresh yourself because the enemy is always attacking. I, I pray that you understand that. Seriously. God bless.